I'm going to go ahead and uh, be the uh, devil's advocate. I'm going to be looking at the pups here. Like, how can you, what, how can you go wrong with pups? Like, <laughs> that sounds like the ultimate, like, the chat literally feeds energy to the, uh, the peril puppies just by saying, oh, my dog, or Frank or Z. It's, it's unstoppable. When, when you've got all the, that dog support, you can't beat them. Over at this mid, we're going to be starting things off with the demo Leto. Getting some mid at a pretty good time. Going to be beating Ashton by a fraction of a second. Shooting out the window, getting stickies onto Ashton. He's rotated over to the choke. But it's Mudding who's going to be ready to bomb in at any moment. He's sneaking underneath the slope, getting eyes on things. Over here on the train there. Both soldiers from the pups have initiated... Uh, but unfortunately, Nutting was picking his timing just right. Got in the choke, and he's still fighting another scout. Very low on health, the scout. Bosky is going to take it down here, looking out with the rest of his team. They've lost the mid and their medic, thanks to Nutting's really good bomb there at the choke point. And right now, I do believe Aura Electra, Electro is going to be uh, taking this mid and uh, potentially taking uh, the round. Yeah, it was a really cool team cohesion play. What they do, they just walk forward following the aggression of the soldier and I'll just point out that Eskimo got the first hair shot of the game so it's really important, you know, it builds the momentum. I got the hair shot to first one of the game so now I'm gonna be unstoppable. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. The, uh, the, the pride you get from saying, man, I'm hitting my shots today. Let's keep it rolling. Right now, over on the top of the lobby, we've got the Super Force stop going right for the sentry. But the air blast is so strong, alternating the hits onto it. The gun finally goes down, but so many players have fallen at the hands of Aura Electra. And now they're getting onto the point. Nutting is going to finish off the cap, and it's a bomb from Milky. Too little, too late. He misses out on the, the 3k on the point, and uh, as a result, he is the only player to basically get any points on his team. Currently at 1 0 or Electra. Yeah, clean push, I'd say. Even though they had a century to pyro, it's really hard to push against that, but uh, maybe the focus targets were was really good. And uh, Aura Electro are taking it as I predicted. Keep up. Leto sitting very aggressively on the point here, getting a lot of spam onto the slope. Poor Mr. Uh, Mankey taking so much damage, gonna get cleaned up by, I believe it's Azunas, not nutting. Azunas also in lobby, still doing a lot of work here. He's got uh, the uh, the number of that medic, Mankey, doing so much work every single time he bombs in, he gets the medic, and that's a big issue at the Miz. But they're currently setting up online. Fosky is already on the engineer, so it looks like they want to try another heavy hold on their last, I believe. They gotta have another up class maybe because they won't have the even time. Wild Pig is going sniper, quite a questionable choose. Yeah, he's going pyro now, it makes way more sense. And they're gonna have to once again defend versus a, a full charge Uber while they only have 30%. So it's gonna be another tricky hold for Peril Puppies. They actually have Wild Piggy up top, but falls off! It's blasted by the scout, now the scout's roaching in with Uber, not getting pushed back by this fire. Pardon me, engineering out to the point, there are a ton of soldiers all over the ground. They need to get on the high ground right now to stop this right now. Milky gonna have to rotate back in the spawn. They held up, held off very well. Good, uh, good rockets there by Milky to take down the scout and the demo. And uh, right now, there's a little bit of aggression in the upper lobby. They're trying to catch the Eskimo. Eskimo does go down, and it is Nevo hiding behind the shutter. Might get spotted out. He does get spotted out. Joke in the air, but doesn't get air shot. And then finally, Milky does a little flick of the wrist and the takes him down. Team. Right now, the rest of the blue team are pushing in Aura Electra. Or Aura Electra. Killing myself trying to say this name fast. Fosky gets taken down by Leto with a nice little sticky there. But Milky is still trying to defend Spire with his best MGE impression. Gonna get healed up very nicely by the arrow. And now backing up. He's calling it for his team. They have the Uber. They need to push in or back up. They're deciding to push in. Milky jumping onto the Spire with the help of Ash and taking down the uh, soldier on the Spire. A nice little juggle onto the medic. Drops into two clean rockets. Milky doing so much work getting back onto the cap here to stop it and get this cap so they don't have to worry about any back cap. But a bomb! from Eskimo tries to take down the medic, doesn't work, and Leto bombing for the point as well, goes down, every single player sacked himself, it's a bomb for Azunas who gets onto the medic, but it does not connect, Milky with 5 kills on this exchange. D was so messy, I was like, boys go back, this is Batman's, you're never gonna get that fire back, but I guess the Uber did the trick, and uh, I'm kind of, I don't know, did that play from... Aura Electro was kind of questionable. They all fed, they fed their old team just to get a medic and they, f they failed, so now they're in a really bad position. I mean, Mankey already have 80% of the charge and the Aura uh, Perry Puppies are pushing on the flank or get it one frag onto Nevo, and that should be the opening frag they need to take it. 
Yeah, there's only Eskimo on the fire doing a nice little rocket on the Wild Piggy to slow things down, and unfortunately he's got all to his death. Taiho gonna clean that up, and Milky, once again, very low on health at the bottom of Spire. Alba's gonna be pressuring that on top of the battle. He's trying to slow this cap down, but Taihu is being completely uncontested. The rest of the uh, Aura Electra, Electro have backed off to the point on last, setting up for a hold because they cannot stop that Spire, and as a result, we're gonna be seeing even Ubers, thankfully, on the side of Aura Electra to defend, but yeah, they, uh, can they, they held, hold on to it? They held uh, long enough so they got the Uber, so that's good, and this is gonna be the first hold, real hold, really like tempo situation of the game where teams are gonna have like the same situation, same Uber, so it's gonna be interesting to see how Pale Puppies wants to break it because right now they have the cookie cutter lineup, two scouts, and it's gonna be really hard for them to do something considering there's a there was this there, yeah, there's a sentry for Aura Electro on the top left of last, so I'm assuming we're gonna see some, yeah, soldiers are just spamming the sentry to take it down, and now to be maybe a sack play from the Roma, try to get to force and maybe enough class for our Perry Puppies. Do you see actually Tai Hu's getting in position? He doesn't have a buff, but he is looking over to the right side. Turning Nancy to work his way in. Instead, it's gonna be a solo over, not hopping on any sticks. They're not worried about it. They see all the stickies on the point so they can just walk in for free. The loose cannon and trying to slow down these players and a the sentry behind the point is actually going to juggle the uh, soldier, Milky, a little bit back here. He's right behind Leto, but doesn't even notice him. Finally get taken down by that sentry and uh, nobody else went in. It was just kind of a solo push and Kelvin didn't even need to pop his Uber at all. So, Aura Electra holding on to the Uber. Going to have a chance to push out of here, but got to be worried about that back end. Oh, <laughs> Kelvin just walked through main, but the sentry, uh, the stick was there, but somehow the demo didn't watch, so he didn't die. That was a uh, that was close. Without Ash fell uh, first down, and that could be it for Aura Electra. The Uber is, is used by Kelvin onto Alba, and um, now Aura Electra is gonna try to secure this spire. It's not gonna be easy because the spawners are gonna come soon for her puppies. And look, Fosky going for the mending onto the spire. No, what did he in? This fight is going really well for Aura Electra. Or Electro doing a lot of frags here, taking down players. Kelvin, unfortunately, tried to get onto the spire at the same time and got taken down by Frosty. And now Taihu's gonna be contesting the point just a tiny bit. The heals are very strong on the side of the puffs, but uh, Peril Puppies need to start working their way in. Takes down Eskimo right off the bat. They see a lot of players on it. Leto's so low on HP. One stray rocket could take him down. A direct hit, that is. And uh, now we're just seeing a retake very easily from uh, the Peril Puppies over on the flank by the, uh, the resub. We do see uh, Azunis getting spotted out by Taihu and the other players. And uh, as a result, they know there's one player down. They have the Uber. They're going to be rushing for the point straight through main. No sticks to worry about. They pop it off, trying to get their players up top. There is a soldier actually caught up top in the ventilation shaft. Getting a lot of damage on the Alba, who's getting cleaned up by the scout. Potentially so low. Only one frag. Foskey doing a very good job taking out Azunis as well as Eskimo. No soldiers alive, meaning that's going to be the end of this defense. It's all but lost. Alba with a nice reflect kill with an arrow. <laughs> Able to take down Taihu. That was reflecting the crossbow. Insane work from uh, Alba at the very end there, but it was 4 not and Pups take their first round. Yeah, well, what was the most crazy thing between like Milky hiding into the vents and that ref reflect onto the crossbow? That was uh, kind of weird what's going to ha happen there, but in the end it's 1-1 one, one, and the Pearl Puppies are are making their way back into this game and if they win this way they could do something. Look at Hash trying to be aggressive onto the valley is portal by his team and the double bomb from the soldiers trying to get some room for their team and they're doing it. Look at Aura Electra, they just stuck in their house trying to get out but Alba dies and um as soon as with a nice counter bomb taking the medic and if Kelvin leaves no she doesn't she dies and that's a full wipe for Pearl Pop is a really nice uh, aggression for the soldiers. Tai Hu gathering the last four kills of that exchange. An insane amount of work with that flank through house. It was well executed while the rest of the players, like you said, were trapped in house. They had no chance whatsoever once Tai Hu got around that choke and just cleaned house. Very good work and I uh, wonder how uh, they're going to react. We do see Milky a little aggressive here, spots a spy, and Azunis is going to have to walk, take the walk of shame back to spawn as he's been outed out as a spy and now it's back to just a regular defense. No assassination, but they do have a sniper. And uh, like you said, there is a Kritzkrieg on the side of Mankey, who is uh, ready to pop it from lower, potentially. So the crits versus the gun is not really a good trade for for Peril Puppies, and uh, 
the position of the sentry is kind of questionable because they can crit from top left and maybe get racked without picking. But and the sentry goes down, so now it should be a, a highway for for Ash and the crit on main. But the sniper is working, so it's gonna be a tricky one. Yeah, that sniper looking at it, takes the first shot, and the crit sticky goes off. It hits the demo man and taking them down. It's gonna be great because now the point is free to take. The point is being pressured by the scout. Wild Piggy, who is rotated behind the point, taking this entire Uber for granted. Not even afraid of the soldiers He's coming back in onto Espo. Finally gets cleaned up by Nevo, who aims his flamethrower in the general direction and cleans that up. But so much damage and all this positioning on the side of blue is so low. Alba coming in from a flank from behind, but it's not gonna be enough. The cap was already halfway. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be an easy retake. Peril Puppies take it down once again. Losing their medic, pulling off a crit play, and getting rid of the demo was all they needed. That was a really nice play from Ash. He, he, he saw the point was half capped, so he just sat on it with tickies to cover for himself and, and just took it. So, um, really nice play from the German demo man. And uh, actually, it's kind of an upset now because Peril Puppies are in the lead. Puppies taking this lead right now. Can they take it another time? We do see Azuna's walking up the slope very slowly, does not get an opportunity. And with Milky on top of the house, distracting the scout, Spossy's gonna run and clean up Nevo. And now Kelvin so low on the help to be pressured, but he has his entire team surrounding him. And the scout comes in, trying to make it happen. Spossy who gets piped and is gonna get taken down. I think Era Electra, Aura Electro. <laughs> is going to be taking this mid, but Fosky is behind, and it's going to be meeting up with someone, potentially. Ooh, there's going to be a duel, maybe some MG action coming up, but Azun has got the medic onto mid, he got Mankey completely uncontested, so um, once again, you talked about, you mentioned the soldiers before the game started, and actually Eskimo and Azun are, are doing a lot of work for their team, so uh, you, you said it before everyone else, yeah, soldiers are doing the work now been really impressed by Milky so far with uh, anti who all of the pubs doing such good work with their soldiers and uh, actually a backhand is finally happening from Bosky who was not met by uh, Nevo while he was in the back lines he's gonna be getting onto Azunas here he's very low and he does finally spot Nevo trying to win the one we go on but gets cleaned up with a little bit of help from Alba's ch chip shots over on the side Azunas walking in for free on the right side has spotted out the demo and if this demo goes down Ashton could be killed here and if and he goes down, it's all over. There it is. Azunas grabs the kill, and the point is going to get capped very easily by Alba. Eskimo switches off, tags in, and takes it down. Wow. I, TF is a fast paced game? I didn't know that. Um, good news. Yeah, Badlands, like the mates are so decisive for both of the teams. If they can get the wipe there, use the advantages really, really well, trying to get to the, to the last really quickly, and it works well so far. Um, 30 minutes in, it's 2 2 already, like a kind of heavy paced game. Low now, came into the mid, throwing some sticks onto the slope, gonna be take chipping at the medic for just a tiny little bit. The soldier, Milky, jumping right now, gonna get onto Alba, doing a little bit of damage there. Ashton gonna clean up onto Nevo, and Leto goes down from Bosky. It's a full wipe practically, it is just Azunas, who is sitting in the house, did manage to pick up that health pack, keeping himself alive for just a moment longer, but Milky, desperate for a little bit of health, he's gonna be backing off here, but we're gonna see what Azunas can do to prep for this uh, solo spire hold as the scouts start working their way through the joke. Well, you, meant, you said you were really impressed by um, Seifu and Milky, but they stepped up on this mid. They just bombed together onto the combo. They got so much room for their team, getting the medic really early and uh, w winning the, the mid for their team. So now they can, they're can they trying to work for the Spire. It's going to be a tricky fight, but little guy, so no demo onto the side of Aura Electro. And Milky is trying to get the pressure on the cap. and. Uh, it looks like Peril Puppies will take it quite uncontested now without the, the demo man on the opposing team. Yeah, that's going to be a huge deal. I think Leto's been dying just a little bit too much. His score kind of says the, the story as far as his uh, impact with Aura Electro. See, if I stop and say it slowly and inflect every syllable, I can say it. Aura Electro. They are, however, on the defense here from the push from Peril Puppies as they pop their Uber right away, getting on to the scout, the Pyro Alba, taking so much damage, he's doing so much work, completely denied that Uber, and now the rest of the uh, Aura Electro are going to be holding up the point, cleaning up the scouts that were working their way in. Milky also goes down, so it's going to be a defensive hold on Spire. We got some sticky traps set up, the players backing out. Can they grab a easy pick on an unsuspecting player walking through the shutter? Like Leto right now. Oh, it's so close. 
a little lead and another fight is gonna go onto the spire. Milky tries to jump for it and Ash takes down Eskimo, so now it's gonna be really hard. They took the spire and they have the Uber, but they don't have the players now. Nevo is the one who dies and Uber is used onto Leto, but in a really awkward position and it looks like Pearl Pokies will just take the spire back like easy peasy, you know, squeezy. Got that right, and Frosky is all the way behind, gonna be getting out to the point any moment. He does spot the soldier and he's gonna be trying to get down, but no, Eskimo does manage to clean that up with a nice little rocket to the face. That's the easiest way to kill a scout is to nearly kill yourself. And so that back half attempt was very close to happening, but Eskimo is not gonna let it happen. Or rather, sorry, uh, yeah, Eskimo is not gonna let it happen. The Albus Pyro is so strong, getting onto Ashton, but the Uber's popped off and the demo is spamming all over the top. Getting damage off, it's gonna be a bomb from Taihu, able to clean that up on top. And now it's just a cap, what are you waiting for? Stop shutting them out and just cap the point. The scout Nebo is rushing to the point. Azunas gets in there and stops it. It's actually a desperate play from Kelvin, he's got the smile. That will be the round two Carol Puppies, and they are leading 3-2 to two at halfway through the round. Yeah, and I think it all comes down to the map. I think it's twice that that um, Aura Electro tried to fight for the Spire and failed and they got punished back by losing the round so yeah, Balance is really punishing when you try to push back the Spire and uh, they're, le they're learning the, the lessons uh, the hard way Aura Electro. Both demos getting that mid at roughly the same time. I think Leto might have a little bit of an advantage here if he can get on top of the closet area. Both both calling in, Taihu and Milky so low on health. I mean, rotating around and Taihu now going to be flanking from behind in the house but I don't think he's going to be able to catch on anyone right away because we do see Alba winning a 1v1 against Wild Pete. Rushing in, does spot out Taihu and is chipping away at him as much as he can. Leto might go down here. Does not. Taihu kills himself. Feels bad. Man gun. And uh, Mankey just now uh, all the way back at uh, last. I think this is the first mid we've seen where players saw things weren't looking good and managed to get out before dying. Yeah, I think Supreme. First time a team lost the mid, this is the mid, but doesn't lose his medic, so it's gonna be another hold on to last. So we can see what Piggy going on onto the Machina sniper, so it's gonna try to go for maybe the hard body shot into the medic, and Foski is on the NG already, so it's gonna be another heavy defense on last with the same Ubers. And while Piggy gets Eskimo right before the Uber is used, the Uber is finally used onto Leto and to uh, Azuni, but it's getting dreadful now. Leto is caught off guard. Probably gonna die by uh, the Uber, and uh, with two players down from Aura Electro, maybe Perry Puppies will attempt to do shots. Milky currently working his way towards the battlements. He does spot out Alba on the spire, trying to make sure every the rest of the battlements is clear for the rest of his team to push forward. Azunas tried to flank in from behind and lobby, and does get taken out by Wild Piggy, who is now getting onto the point. This cap is all but certain for the team, but it's actually Nebo from behind. He could both for the back cap here, potentially if they stop the point. He's gonna get onto the cap, but it doesn't work because they were too slow to stop the Spire, and now the cap has happened, and the rest of uh, Pearl Poppies are gonna be holding onto it. Nebo still behind, does get spotted out by Wild Piggy, and he's called out in the lobby. They need to get this cap ready and stop the back cap. Nebo goes right for it, not even afraid of any scouts. They're gonna be stacking the point, and I do think they're gonna get it, unless Azunas can make a miracle play to stop the point. He jumps up, and he gets a nice air shot onto Azunas, completely denying his attempt to break the cap and uh, now Nevo is in the backline completely caught out of the fight and uh, pair of copies we're gonna take an easy spire Aura Electro doesn't want that to happen but yeah they're just leaving it to pair of copies and Kelvin only has 30% of Uber while Menke sits on, uh, on a pretty cool advantage so if pair of copies are quick enough just they could just take another run at the back Nevo still behind in the house trying to rotate to the Diag I mean, getting into upper eye battlements potentially. Mankey's all alone too, so he could potentially get caught out here if uh, Nebo times this well enough. He's gonna be jumping in through the drop down right now. He does spot out both scouts. He's gonna hit one onto the scout. Foskey taking a little bit of damage there, but he's gonna be backing off. And Nebo, once again, rotating to the thing. He's gonna back spawn finally. Now the Uber push is gonna be happening over in the upper right area. It's Alba defending with that Uber once again, doing a very good job of air blasting it. The rest of the uh, pups have managed to work their way into the point, more or less. Milky doing a little bit of damage there before cratering to his death, does manage to take out Azunas. A one-for-one -one exchange, and Wild Piggy is down, so a uh, potential push-out could happen. They just gotta be worried about that back cap. It's kinda risky to push now. Milky's gonna spawn soon, and it's really hard for them to fight the Spire, even though they have the Uber, but both cats just go for the Spire right away, and it should be the answer for them. It's, they are completely uncontested by Pearl Puppies for some unknown reason, and it, it shouldn't have happened, but Aura Electro took the Spire really easily, and now they just wanna go and choke. The Uber has been used onto Eskimo to the choke, but 
is alone in this and Karakop is going back. Omni Ash dies, but that's a demo so it's quite a good pick. Look at Eskimo going super deep onto the resub. <laughs> But he takes down by one piggy, uh, that was a cool attempt for him, but now Ara Electro just needs to grab this mid, but this is going, this is completely half of it was being used by Mankey, everyone dies on both teams and mid hasn't been capped yet, what are this team doing? Having a, having a bit of a scrappy exchange here in the Diag, Nevo once again rotating around, does spot out, Ashton in the face of disparity, can he do it? <laughs> Goodness. Wild Piggy saving Ashton's life at the very last moment. And uh, Kelvin currently sitting up forward with Leto, but Leto could get potentially taken down here. Titan's going to be rotating through the Diag, potentially getting behind, but no, he decides to go to the patio. Jumps in and trying to get onto Kelvin, cuts off his escape route, gets right onto him with a nice rocket, but cannot clean it up. Had to reload there, and a lot of damage onto Kelvin. It's going to make it really hard for the rest of the team to get healed up. Kelvin rotating over to the bats while the Spire action is happening. Azunas is getting juggled just a tiny bit by Ashton, but he does spot him. With a nice little mini air shot there, more or less. Leto throwing the loose cannon all over the. And a nice little direct rocket from Azunas. Yeah, Milky now, and the rest of the team is pushing forward. Aura Electro can take this midpoint very quickly now, and they have a lot of frags in their favor. Ubers are even, and they are going to get this cap. Yeah, Team Street on um, Terry Poppy's side, so if Aura Electro plays that smartly, they could take the Spire without much trouble, but. Hellpop is sitting track with the Uber, maybe going for him. Tehu dies really early and the Uber is being used by Menki, but this is gonna this is terrible for Hellpop is now they have to fall back without even forcing the Uber onto Kelvin. And this is gonna be a really hard to defend for them on match now. Yeah, they do have Fosky who does manage to block the point for just a moment while as soon as gets cleaned up by Milky. The push is happening though, they have the full Uber and they're gonna be getting onto the point, trying to tie it up now. Two to three, can Aura Electro make it happen? They are getting a little bit of a uh, shutout here from Wild Piggy on the Pyro. Gonna get a nice little reflect on Eskimo there, and Milky also grabbing a pick of his own. Kelvin gonna get sawed! No, he saws the other medic! Before getting cleaned up, so that's a one-for-one -one exchange for the medics. No heals available for either side, and uh, Azunas is hiding in the uh, trash, getting ready to catch an unsuspecting player walking through that shutter. He's, what, he's making his way onto the lobby. He hasn't been spotted, but he just decided to go for the spire and get one nice rocket onto Fosky and onto what he gets the first cow, then maybe the second one will die as well. Yeah, both scouts are dead thanks to Alba on the sniper. And uh, even though they don't have Uber, they could try to drive push this with two people down, three people down now. Oh, the demon man dies. Ash got caught. And now Leto is making his way to the lab on the main side. Kelvin is putting some cap time onto the last really well played from the medic. And this is a round for. Peril Puppy is uh, uh, Electro 3 3, but that was quite a, a scrappy fight from Peril Puppies. Yeah, they weren't doing a really good job of uh, working as a unit, and uh, as a result, Alba could just sit as a sniper as he respawned. Didn't manage to clean up the scouts. I think it all came down to that wonderful play by Azunis at the Spire to juggle those scouts and take them down. Very clean play, getting the, uh, the bleeding players. And uh, going into this mid-fight, Ashton going to be taking the sticky early from Elf with Leto. And uh, going to be backing off for some heals. He's very low on health now on the slope. Eskimo trying to bomb in, get some initiation here. Going to get jogged by the soldier, Milky, or Taihu rather. And uh, as a result, Taihu's going to get taken down by Nevo, who is also going to be uh, ready to work their way onto this point. He's rushing in, he does spot the demo. On to Ashton, Ashton doesn't get the arrow. Finally gets taken down by Nevo, cleaned up by Wild Piggy. The retaliation is strong by Fosky, takes two clean rockets from Eskimo. It is basically MG right now. Soldier medic versus scout medic. And somehow they got the cab. Pups are holding on to the point right now. And Eskimo's rushing forward, trying to hit as many directions as he can. Two rockets all takes, but the high ground is strong for Wild Piggy. And he is going to be able to get on top of it. You do see Milky jumping into the fray now. It's too strong. Kelvin gets forced off. Trying to save his soldier, and now the Uber is a disaster. It's not going to be good. Eskimo trying to make a desperate push. He guffs in. He does not connect onto the medic. Not even close, and he goes down. Yeah, Eskimo got completely melted away by the scouts onto the high ground and could do nothing. Kind of a questionable pop from Kelvin and Dini and Monkey just has all the Uber. It's pushing Reese up with uh, Ash and Milky. He's trying to cut. The Aura Electro team off guard. It looks like Kelvin and Leto are already onto the lobby, and the Uber has been used by Mankey onto his demo man. And uh, the Bilky is trying to put the medic really deep onto the main, but he's getting caught by Leto finally because the demo man. And uh, if Terry Poppy plays aggressive now, they could get around. Three people are down from Aura Electro. The cap is going in favor of the Peril Puppies, and they are rushing with their pack 
through the main lobby now. They're coming in from it. They don't even need the Uber. They're go time. They have picks. No Devil Man means an easy cap onto the last. Fosky gets struggled in the air. Takes an arrow and saves life for just a moment longer. Able long enough for the uh, Ashton to get a pick onto the players sacking the point. But Leto has respawned and he's getting stickies all over the place. We do see Taihu does spot out some players trying to pick his way forward. He is backing off through the battlements. And uh, the medic, Menke. Gonna be healing up his players as they prepare for this spire defense, but I don't think uh, I don't think Aura Electra is gonna be able to push out. Yeah, only five minutes left. They don't want to take any risks now, and uh, Arba was dead as well, so that's one Scott less to cap points, and they're just gonna be happy to sit on their last, uh, maybe getting Imperial Poppy to crush on them. But no, look at them, they're really going really aggressive into the spire, but Arba died to a sticky trap, and this is looking really, really grim, maybe for. Aura Electro, the bullet soldiers are jumping the spider, Tehu died to Eskimo, and the Uber. But, ah, what was the fact of that? I think when um, he was using the pain train, it got completely incontestable to the last. Whoa, that was a. Um, Ripushi is not a good play there, team. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, the Devilman back cap with the pain train finally coming into play there. That was the biggest thing about Ashton. Uh finally coming into play. I, I remember back in the days when uh, Badlands was like, oh, you're a demo man, you need to run Pain Train for that cap time. And it uh, comes into play there as Ashton now getting eyes onto the players rushing the closet. It's all of Aura Electro who are coming in through the closet. Leto trying to sticky his way through. The deck comes off from Ashton, able to catch up. Devo, Bilky dies, unfortunately though. And if the exchange can happen over here in the choke, we do see both the soldiers from Aura Electro coming in, but only Eskimo gets a frag here on Foskey. Wild Piggy gonna clean up Azunus at the very end, cleaning up both soldiers there. And that's gonna be it. It's a wipe, and Peril Puppies are currently holding on to uh, all their players and their medic. And let's be honest, if they want to sit there and win the game, they could, because it should be really hard for Aurel Electro to push out of their last. So if Peril Puppies just want to go to the dick move and just don't do not do anything, they could do it, but Alba is a sniper. And hey, Alba gets the medic with a fully charged body shot, and that could be the saving grace for Aurel Electro if they manage to push out. Very good snipe there, and that's going to be an initiation. The shot heard around the world, but can it work for their favor? Because we do see a backup attempt from Wild Piggy, who is getting a 1v1 against Nevo. Finally gets pinned by Eskimo, and the push is going to be coming out, but we do see Ashton. Nope, going to be backing off here. Does not want to take it. Does manage to take a little bit of fall damage. Dodges the arrow, and is going to be getting into a position while the rest of Aura Electro worked away onto the Spire. He does spot out Milky, and Eskimo sitting on top of his perch. Trying to slow down plays as much as he can. Leto. Disconnected from the heels, could potentially get caught out here by another scout. He's getting pistoled away all the way down. Gets backed out of the shutter, and uh, Calvin got dropped by Milky there. Oh my goodness, how did I miss that? Milky doing so much work here to slow this recap from Aura. But uh, on the point, Ashton with a great sticky spam. Going to be able to connect onto the, the scouts on the spire, and it's all to Azunas, who's in the battlements. Going to be going for the back cap attempt here. He does spot out Wild Piggy, can't get onto the point. No, he whips his jump! And it's not gonna work, the back cap cannot happen. And now it's all hands on deck as the rest of the Peril Puppies rush through main, finishing off this round at any moment. Yeah, this is looking really green for our Electro. Abbott and Paro trying to put some pressure onto the main while his team is pushing on top. And the Uber has been used by main here to his pocket and demo man. Ash is going forward and Nebo dies to a wild piggy. Uh, are they gonna hold this? Everyone is weak onto our Electro. Alba dies, Leto dies, Eskimo dies, and this is a round maybe for Pearl Poppies. Yeah, they finally take it. That's 5 to 3, and that should be it. This is European rules, right? It's it's 30 minutes, or we do have a, a round limit. For 30 minutes, win to 5, so this should be the end, but uh, the config is still set up for uh, uh, one more round. There is no way. They could get one more round, but... This but not two. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we call garbage time right now. Uh, teams are just gonna fool around, I guess, because they can't make it. Or uh, Electro can't win anymore. Foskey is launched into the but no one has help on him. And literally, they will just jump onto the combo, getting Leto and Alba down. And uh, now, Azunis and Eskimo are trying to get this, but they're completely shut down maybe by the soldiers. Eskimo is going hard, getting one soldier, maybe two soldiers. He's getting the other one. Maybe if he gets the medic, that's a 3k for him. But <laughs> oh, Menki jukes everything, gets the soul and the Uber, and he doesn't even have to use. Oh, Calvin coming in! 
Oh, it finally does force it up. <gasps> take the saw though at the last second. Oh, who's gonna get to the pack first? Finally, Mickey does manage to pick it up. And the medic is rushing in. He's so close. No, he's gonna just taunt it. <gasps> oh, misses the uh, taunt kill there. And Kelvin finally gets cleaned up there. Oh, he pulled his Uber off at the last possible second. The worst moment. And Kelvin was able to get a saw off right as the Uber faded. Because uh, Mickey switched to his Uber. But that's not gonna be enough. It's 10 seconds left on the clock. Very interesting uh, exchange there. And uh, that's gonna be the round. The winners, Carol Puppies. Um, I didn't even see that coming. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I predicted Aura Electro. I mean, it's an established team. They've been to high playoffs last season, so I don't know. In my eyes, they were good enough, but apparently not. And uh, Eskimo just renaming himself Death is just a highlight of how Aura Electro must feel right now. We do have some logs set up, Ombrak, so, uh, right away, before you look at him, who do you think top damage? Uh, Ash, I'd say. I think he had a, quite a cool game, so maybe Ash or, yeah, Ash or Eskimo, but I think it was gonna be Ash. It was Milky. How could you forget Milky? He was such an impact player, putting up almost 9,000 damage by the end of the match, 311 DPM. Uh, matched closely by Ashton, who was just behind 304 DPM. One of the only two players to uh, break that 300 mark. Azunas was pretty close, though, at 298. Uh, but when you look at the frags, it's it's so scattered. Like, Wild Piggy at 32, but then Azunas and Eskimo, the soldiers for Aura Electro, were just so strong. 55 frags between the both of them. That is a huge impact, and I'm really surprised that despite all those kills... As you can see on the bottom, though, Leto with only six kills. I think that might have been the difference in frags. He should have been doing maybe a little bit more work, uh, a little more damage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that was probably the uh, the issue was Leto wasn't having as many opportunities. He was dying quite a fair amount. Yeah, it looks like Leto had a had a rough game. Uh, quite kind of impressed by what Piggy you mentioned these uh, 32 frags. Uh, I didn't see I didn't see him that good. So. Maybe just, I don't know, maybe it's Aura Electro which choked really hard, but yeah, what we get, I had a really, really good game, and uh, I don't know, in the end, it looks like Aura Electro choked somehow, but, and Peril Pop is that, yeah, you know, sometimes a team chokes, but still manages to win because the other one isn't able to step up and take the win, and, to, and take the win, but looks like Peril Pop is so the opportunity to take the win now in the really well played from them it, they beat a high team while being a, a, a new team so it's really promising if they tend to play together in the future so we're going to be having our next game up at any moment uh we're gonna be switching servers and uh i'm actually gonna go ahead and call this a brief little bio break for us casters so we can get some water and other things going on. And then we'll be back with Swift versus Badlands Badgers in our upcoming match.